Number 5. Accepted is a 2006 comedy film directed by Steve Pink. The story follows Bartleby Gaines, played by Justin Long, who, after facing rejection from several universities, decides to create a fake college named South Harmon Institute of Technology. To make his parents believe the ruse, he fabricates a website, produces promotional materials, and manages to answer questions from family and friends. Surprisingly, more students become attracted to this fictional university, resulting in the formation of a real community. The unique educational approach at South Harmon Institute of Technology appeals to students who have been rejected by mainstream universities, helping them discover their value and purpose. However, this adventure leads the protagonist into a series of challenges, including scrutiny from academic authorities and the eventual revelation of the truth. From the studio that brought you American Pie. Guys, I think this could work. We're here for orientation. Did you just say you got accepted here? Yeah, we all did. Thank you so much. Just show of hands, how many people apply to other colleges? I know what it's like to be rejected. At South Harmon, we say yes to you. All our lives, we've been told what to learn. At South Harmon, the students are the teachers. There are no tests, required reading, or any of that nonsense. Whatever the students say they want to learn. What the hell happened? An explosion of flavor! I'm working some very unstable herbs! You want me to be the dean of your college? Come on, what do you say? We throw a lot of fancy words in front of these kids in the belief that they're going to have a better life. <laughs> For anyone who thinks higher education has hit an all-time low, get him the suit. Ask me about my winner! Universal Pictures presents a whole new school of thought. You don't need fancy highbrow traditions or money to really learn. You just need people with a desire to better themselves. And we got that at South Harmony. Freaks. Wet t-shirt party! Accepted. Can't believe this is a class. Yeah. Number four. Everybody Wants Some is a 2016 American comedy film directed by Richard Linklater. The movie is a nostalgic journey set in the early 1980s, focusing on a group of college freshmen who are part of the university's baseball team. The protagonist, Jake played by Blake Jenner, is a freshman pitcher, and the film follows the team's adventures during the weekend before the start of the school year. The story unfolds as the characters explore college life, attend parties, pursue romantic interests, and form deep friendships. Through a light-hearted and humorous lens, the film touches on themes of coming of age, identity, and the bonds of friendship. The film received praise for its witty humor, vibrant character portrayals, and its nostalgic depiction of the 1980s era. Look at what we have here. Hey, ladies. Party later tonight at the baseball houses. You should be investing this energy elsewhere. Lesbians. I like the quiet guy in the backseat. Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah, hey, I can see how that could get threatening. New guy coming in, getting all the ladies. That's a joke. I got your joke right here. Did he just call it a joke? Yeah, that's what he implied. How did you know what room I was in? I'm an, I'm an investigative journalism major. So, I guess you know my name then. Yes. As soon as you tell me. Starting to have an identity crisis. We've danced at a disco, danced the Cotton Eye Joe and kick her tire, and here we are, punks for a night. You gotta embrace your inner strange, man. Just be weird. Finding out who you are. You gotta tune in, man. Do you guys wanna try a little telepathic stuff? Do it. Lock in. What am I thinking about? Baseball. Having a tail. Cereal? Same about sharks. <sighs> sharks have tails. It's a good point. It's a good point. I wish I had a tail. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure that that is a new school record. Number 3. Old School is a 2003 comedy film directed by Todd Phillips. The film follows three middle-aged men, played by Luke Wilson, Will Ferrell, and Vince Vaughn, who, facing challenges in their respective lives, decide to relive their college days. 
people jump out. They rent a house and transform it into an unofficial fraternity, attracting a diverse group of members. On campus, these men engage in a series of wild and absurd activities, including parties, athletic competitions, and other remarkable adventures. The movie presents the humor and chaos of these men rediscovering their youth in a light-hearted and entertaining way. Simultaneously, they confront the pressures and challenges of adulthood. Disease-free gentlemen standing by the minibar. From DreamWorks Pictures. We are officially starting a fraternity. This is my house. I heard you guys are starting up a fraternity. Who told you that? And the director of Road Trip. We're giving out bids to 14 guys. Wait, who's this guy? He looks like he's 100 years old. Just ring the bell, you pansy. Good morning. Now that was a party. I want in. Half these guys don't even go to the school. I promised my wife I wouldn't drink tonight. Okay, I'll do one. I'll do one. I'll do one. We're good. Streaky. Once it hits your lips, it's so good. We don't take it too seriously. You may be asking yourself, why is this cinder block tied securely to your beer muffs? Don't you think this is going a little far? Just pace yourself. Sorry. Woo! Luke Wilson. I get the feeling you have an entirely distorted view of who I am. Will Ferrell. What's going on? If you Red tell flag. anyone about this, I'll Go. kill you. Go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll come back by tonight. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Let's go. And Vince Vaughn. That's my wife. Always smiling. Hi, honey. Judging, watching. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Be careful. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Yes! Ow! That's awesome! Old school. <laughs> Number 2. Pitch Perfect is a 2012 musical comedy film directed by Jason Moore. The story follows Bika Mitchell, played by Anna Kendrick, as she enters Barden University with little interest in the typical college experience. However, after attending a performance by the Barden Bellas, an all-female a cappella group, she discovers their unique style and powerful musical abilities. The Bellas, led by the strict and ambitious Aubrey Posen, played by Anna Camp, have a reputation for excellence but face internal conflicts and demanding standards set by their leader. Bika joins the group and embarks on a challenging musical journey with the diverse members. The team must overcome various obstacles, including formidable opponents, internal disputes, and musical challenges, to compete in the National Collegiate Acapella competition. Throughout the competition, they discover the strength of teamwork, build deep friendships, and find their own unique voice. We horrible, I hate you, kill yourselves, girl powers! This is a list of all of the songs that we have ever performed. There's nothing from this century on here. It's not enough to be good, we need to be different. Our goal is to get to the finals. How are we paying for regionals? A bikini car wash is definitely out of the question. No, Aubrey, I'm like super good at bikini car washes. There will be no more wasting time with school or boyfriends. Can I trust you will add your own cardio? Yeah, no, don't put me down for cardio. What are you doing? Horizontal running. Are you guys getting ready for the riff off? What's a riff off? Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey! Shorty, get down, good lord. Strictly bitch, you don't play around. Cover much ground, got game by the pound. Oh, oh, I like the way you work, it. Oh, no diggity. Remix this business. I like the way what boring estrogen filled set have you prepared for us? Hey, Amy! I was just waiting, shot! You guys are gonna get pitch slapped so hard, your man boobs are gonna concave. I like the way you work. I have a feeling we should kiss. I sometimes have a feeling I can do crystal mess, but then I think, mm, better not. Number 1. The Social Network is a 2010 drama film directed by David Fincher. It is based on a true story, focusing on the young Mark Zuckerberg, played by Jesse Eisenberg, and the creation of the social media platform Facebook. The story unfolds against the backdrop of Zuckerberg's time at Harvard University, detailing his entrepreneurial journey and the complex relationships with classmates, business partners, and legal disputes. As Facebook rises to prominence, Zuckerberg's success brings about fractured friendships, legal controversies, and business competition.
The film takes a non-linear approach to showcase the intricacies of Zuckerberg's conflicts with others, revealing the struggles, betrayals, and power struggles involved in the entrepreneurial journey. In order to get the attention of the clubs. Why? Because they're exclusive and fun, and they lead to a better life. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. The site got 2,200 hits within two hours? Thousand. 22,000. This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. Millions? You stole our website. They're saying we stole the Facebook. I know what it says. So did we? A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. You're going to get left behind. It's moving faster what than any of us ever imagined get it left would behind. Let's sue him in federal court. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and what you write as a check. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Is there anything that you need to tell me? Your actions could have permanently destroyed everything I've been working on. We have been working on. Do you like being a joke? Do you want to go back to that? Mark! This is our time. You're being accused of intentionally breaching security, violating copyrights, violating individual privacy. Your best friend is suing you for $600 million. As for the charges, I believe I deserve some recognition from this board. I I'm sorry? Yes. I don't understand. Which part? I don't 